Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, back on track, people. So this is me, Devin, and this is my girlfriend, Jade. Together, we are Bon Bon Voyage. This year has been the craziest, most exciting roller coaster year of our lives. And we ended up here converting our 27 foot schoolie named Atlas into a tiny home. take it back to the first couple of weeks of quarantine um, the United States had just shut down and we were on full-fledged cabin fever I am depression so Devin got a little bit of a uh, wanderlust from watching couples convert vans and buses into their homes um, and you began researching what vehicles would suit our needs mm -hmm. at first we thought that like a shuttle bus or a mini schoolie would be our go-to vehicle but after like a ton of talking and a lot of late night talking and then planning we decided that if we wanted to live in this vehicle uh, full-time a bathroom shower kitchen living space they were just not negotiable for us so a few months later i was scrolling through instagram stories and um i scrolled upon fern the bus um who posted like a story for a schoolie that fit exactly what we were yeah. looking for. Um, it had low mileage, little to no rust. Um, it was stored inside during the winter and it was middle between like the size that we wanted. So it was a little bit between a small schoolie and a full size schoolie. So within minutes of inquiring about it, we, <laughs> we sent over a down payment and set a date to pick it up. It was super quick. Yeah. So my sister, her girlfriend, Gina, Jade and I, um, we went to pick up the bus on June 29th. We didn't really think about it. We just did it. So, um, my job was pretty much finding insurance for the bus to get it home from Michigan. I called a ton of insurance companies and they all kind of looked, looked at, at me like I was crazy. crazy. Um, yeah. I was finally able to go through Progressive. Um, just in case of an accident on our way home, we really wanted to insure the bus. We didn't need plates or anything to get it home from Michigan, so definitely check that out before you do drive a bus home. Mm -hmm. um, after cruising at 60 to like 65, which is like our max speed, sometimes I could get her to 70, um, but that was like rare going down a hill. Yeah. <laughs> no speed tickets were a worry. Um, we drove that for 8.5 hours. We filled up with diesel twice, and then we finally made it home. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. Just slow and steady. We won the race. <laughs> So we couldn't wait to get our hands dirty. Um, so the next day we actually began the demo process like right away. I was excited. I bought a bus. The next day um, that we decided to get our hands dirty, taking out the seats, it wasn't as expected. It was going super smooth. We were able to get a ton of them out until we weren't. <laughs> Drop. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> Step by. Ow! Step. Ha! Ugh. All right. Um. Oh, these screws are gonna suck. All right, go to the next seat, but go. Now you're good. Yep. But on the other side, remember. On the other side. So your right side. Right side. Right side. Well, it's nice and cool under here at least. Yes, not. Yeah. When in doubt, we could always just uh, Hide under the bus. hang out under the bus. It's real hot in there right now. Um, we had a roadblock. A lot of them were just so rusted, we just couldn't get them to work. So what I did is I took a grinding wheel and I just grinded the tops of the bolts down. Um, I had to do like 10 plus. It wasn't too bad, but it did take me a lot of time. Um, Until the, the night. Yeah, one yeah. of the nights we pretty much, I just kept working just mm -hmm. to try to get all the seats out. Yeah. Lots of sparks were flying. Yes. So it looked cool, wear though. your protective gear. It looked cool. Mm -hmm. So we finally got all the seats removed. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> and um, so next episode, we're going to take you through the process of removing the rubber floor. 
um, rust removal and prevention and why the heck we used coins to cover the holes in the bus. It did have a purpose. It sure did. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe here on YouTube. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thanks for watching.